Do you want to play with your brother? Come on. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to our channel. Huh? Why you got... What is that on your cheek? Oh, scratches from Marcel. And what is that? A marker? Yeah, she... Yeah. She messes with the cat, so she has scratches. And the marker. Is that permanent marker? Or is that regular? Um, you, Hi. what do you have to tell them? Hi, baby. So, we got blue schools on, and she's messing with little man's toys right now. I took a shower and washed my hair. And yeah, we we're going to church later on for youth group. Um, because my husband is one of the leaders in the youth group, so I just go along with him and support him, and take the kids and I watch the kids while he does his thing with the kids, and then we take Leanna, um, to the bigger kids towards the end, so she can play with them and socialize, and you know. So it works out for us, and we're, because we're trying, we're getting her used to going to church, so when she's older, she will want to go without being pressured, and she really enjoys going to church, so it's really good for us. I even like to go. I don't, we don't even have to go to youth group, but I like to go. It's because we get to get out of the house, and I support my husband, and yeah. We're just chilling, and... Baby, I gotta do your hair. I don't have to do it now, but I gotta do it later on, before we leave. And you have to take a shower. Maybe after we come home. No, because by the time we get home... It will be around 10, 15-ish. So. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi. Okay. Uh, we're in the living room. But. Say hi. 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 Yeah. So. Baby, what you, what you doing? Be careful. You're eating yogurt? Are you done? You shouldn't be you shouldn't be eating in the living room by the way. You want to say hi to them? Say hi. Why are you standing, dude? Come on. Sit down. You're only 2 months. Come on. You got to sit down. I got to do your hair by the way. I will I'll do it later on though. Close to when daddy gets home from work. Is that okay? Okay. Well, I'm still going to do it if, even if you don't want me to because, you know, your hair has to be done. Don't give this to me. I'm, I wouldn't, what am I supposed to do with this? Sit down and say hi. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> um, mamas. I hope you guys are doing okay. Um, koala. Monkey. A, B, C, D, E, M, G. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S, T, U, V. W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you say no with me? Me! Me! That's my little performance for you. What's wrong? You did that on your own. Baby, you gotta use potty? Go potty. So, um, we're in process of potty training. 
A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V. So we're in process of potty training, and she just now, like last week, Friday, I believe, started using the her potty on her own without me like pressuring her. And what happened was, I she was showing signs that she was ready to potty train like way earlier, like long time ago, like I want to say March. And we bought her training pants, and and during that time, I was like not going hardcore with it, but I was like you know encouraging her to go. But then at the same time, I wasn't really pressuring her because realistically, like, they're ready on their own instead of us pushing Eight. on them. Say hi. Back up so you could see. Okay, you want to sit too? And... And, um, so I was... Sit down, sit down, sit down. <laughs> sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. And at that time, she was, like, showing signs, but not... But she wasn't really sh using the toilet, and I wasn't pressuring her. And then recently, I was just getting, like, a bit fed up with it because, um... Like, she takes naps without uh, wearing pull-ups. She will go hours without using the bathroom. Like, she will hold it in. And she will take naps without accidents, which is cool and all. But I was getting fed up because... Not because she wasn't using the toilet, but because when she does number two in her pull-up, it's a lot. And... I was like, yo, girl, you getting big for this. <laughs> because she's tall, and it's like, it's hard for me to clean her because she fights me. And I was like, you know what? I prayed about it, and I really prayed about it because I was like, she needs to use the toilet. Like, she's getting big, and then she's turning three in January next month, and at church, she's moving up to a bigger kit room where like they need to be potty trained or they need to at least tell an adult that they need to go to the potty if they're not fully potty trained so last friday i was like you know what i'm gonna pray about this and i'm gonna take away the pull-ups hide them from her because she knows where they are so she'll take them anytime she wants to um, put them on because she's so comfortable in them. And, like, she's comfortable using the pull-up as a toilet. Which is fine and all. But the poopy thing, it's not working out, girl. It's not working out. Not for me because you too tall for me. So, last Friday I prayed about it. I made a decision to hide the pull-ups from her. So, she won't be able to, like, get them every time she wants them. And what I did, I... Put, showed her where her underwear are, her training pants, and she just put them on. And then we just started using potty. And I would, let me tell you, the things that I went through to teach her how to use the potty. Whew, I made up a dance. I made up a song. You want to sing the song? Pee pee in the potty. Pee pee in the potty. Pee pee in the potty. Let's go to the potty. Let's go to the potty. Time to go to the potty. Time to go to the potty. Pee pee in the potty. And I even peed in it to show her that that's where the pee goes. Let me tell you, I'm small and all, but I was like, uh uh, we gotta get this right. I even put cat food in it, dry food to make it look like poop. And then I put um, cat wet food to make it look like it's diarrhea. Well, I'm going to tell you, I put candy in it, chocolates, too. Oof. And then she eventually got it on her own. Like uh, like I was saying, that she decided to 
used the toilet on her own on Friday, and Friday last week was her first day um, wearing underwear for more than like 30 minutes because we went to church, and I took her to church in underwear, change of pants too, and um, she did not use the potty, but she also did not have an accent, which is a plus. And then this past Sunday, I did the same thing. Um, cause it's at church, they have like a kit, kitty potty. Like it's a real toilet, but it's at their level and it's a smaller toilet. So that's what I'm teaching her now is using the toilet in the church because we're there all the time. So she needs to learn how to use the toilet and then we'll be all set. <laughs> yeah. What's up? What do you want me to do with this? Do you want to put this away? Hi. Hi. How are you? Okay. <laughs> Maybe be careful with the kitty cat. How are you? You want to play? Let's see. We got this. Yeah. Okay. We got this annoying thing. He's looking at you, baby. We got this. Isn't this cool? Okay, hold on. Chill. You gotta be gentle with him, okay? He's tiny. Marine animals. Octopus. Octopus. Whale. Whale. Jellyfish. Jellyfish. Uh, dolphin? Uh, Pufferfish? Oh, dolphin? Yeah. Oh, pufferfish? Pufferfish? Oh, pufferfish? Yeah. Um. Oh, pufferfish? What are you doing? Can you get out of the way? What are you doing? Brianna. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Can you give me some space? You're way too crowded. Come on. Oh, no. What happened? What Papa happened? Paw Patrol? Or Pufferfish? Uh, a Pufferfish? Pa Baby, do you want some chicken soup that I made the other night? What that has what? what? So I had to change him. He had a blowout, which was nice. Oh. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol. Um, what about Paw Patrol? So you guys, mamas, how are you guys doing? Like, really, how are you doing? Because um, this toddler stage is a bit much. A bit oh, much. Oh, um, oh, it's hard. Oh, it gets hard. Some ups and downs to the toddler stage. Um, the upside is that. Uh, my daughter, she's like communicating more and talking, so we're able to really have conversations with her. Yeah, baby. And we're actually working with her on like um, sharing her emotions and her feelings with us so we can understand her more instead of like getting frustrated with her without like understanding what's going on. So, what we've been doing, which is really has been a, a, yeah, say hi, it's been a huge help is that we've been doing, focusing on gentle parenting, 
and uh, we use the gentle parenting approach because it folk. Yes, baby, it's a fish. It's a fish. Yeah, yellow and purple fish. Yellow and purple fish. We've been so with gentle parenting, it can be um, hard. <laughs> But it's really worth it because, um, so, like, we've noticed a huge difference with her when we started doing gentle parenting, um, is that her communication skills have increased big time because we talk to her the way, um, we want to be talked to with respect. And, um, like, she's able to share her emotions, for example, when she's sad and she's crying. She understands she's sad, and she she always asks us, are we okay in the process? Because she knows that, like, there are times where we lose it, and we, like, take it out on her, where, like, we get frustrated. And she understands that we're frustrated, so she asks us, are we okay? And we ask her, yeah, we tell her, yeah, we're okay, we're just... And we explain to her, like, what we're feeling... Like, for example, my husband and her, they have their little moments where, like, she gets frustrated with him or he gets mad at him. And uh, she throws a little fit and he tells her, like, don't do that or it's not or you don't you shouldn't be doing that. And she starts crying and then she asks him, are you OK? Are you OK? And he's like, yeah, I'm OK. And then he explains to her, like, what he's going through. So it's been working out really well with us. Um, because we're really trying our best not to take our frustration out on her because she, she understands so much that like impacts, like it makes a difference on her. And also we had, like, we don't. We don't do harsh discipline. So instead of doing focusing on harsh discipline, I do instead of like putting her in timeout or saying let's go to timeout or you're going to be timeout or like threatening her. Um, I instead of doing all that, I tell her like let's go have some quiet time. So quiet time is I take her to her room and we sit on the floor. And I let her cry it out or she gets frustrated. I let her let it out in her room instead of like living room or somewhere else. And because it is her room, I let her do it. Like it's her space, her private space. And once she cries it out, once she lets it out, um, we read a book. And we play for a bit. And after those five minutes, she's okay. And while she's crying and throwing a fit, um, in between, I talk to her about what's going on. And I explain to her that it's not okay to throw a fit. It's not okay to do this, like to be hurtful to daddy. And because she does this thing where like she like, she gets hyper, so she gets really excited and she kicks or hits. And we're trying to teach her that hitting and kicking is not okay. And she understands that because she doesn't do that all the time. But, um, yeah, when she's in her quiet time, I let her cry it out. And then she, I give her a hug. And in process, we also tell her that we still love her. Because it is really important for her our kids to know that they're loved because nowadays this generation is a bit different <laughs> so um yeah like we tell her we still love her and now she's like telling us i love you and we tell her we love you too or like at night time she's like good night 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 time i love you <laughs> it's really cute and then like she she comes to you and she gives you a hug and says i love you it's really adorable so, like, the gentle parenting has been really working out for us. That's how, like, it's been a huge blessing to us. Like, she's able to communicate, and she's able to share her feelings with us. And, yeah.
But there are days where I honestly, there are days where I get frustrated and I take it out on her, which is not good by like yelling. And I'm trying to limit that. So what I've been doing is I've been really praying about it and like journaling. Because if I don't journal or pray about it, my day is like, it's, uh, I get frustrated quicker. So I've been really working on that. I am not perfect at all. I am not in no means a perfect mom because I am still learning and I do make mistakes and I do take my, I do hold myself accountable because when I lose it with her, I, I apologize to her and I tell her that, you know, I'm sorry for screaming at you or for getting mad at you. I'm just really frustrated and she tells me it's okay. And that's how she learns to apologize. Because we have been apologizing to her when we do something that is not right. Um, yeah, I really like what I'm doing and what my husband's doing with her. I've done a lot. And she's doing a really good job with potty training. The next goal is for her to learn how to bless you. Bless you. Is for her to learn how to use the potty in the... Achoo. Achoo. Bless you. Thank you. Is uh, to learn how to... Bless you. Is to learn how to use the potty at church. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Baby, I gotta do your hair, but I, I can do it later, okay? When Daddy gets home. Bless you. I can do your hair later before when Daddy gets home. Bless you. <laughs> Bless you. I chew. Okay. I gotta feed you too. I chew. Okay. But yes, you guys, yes. And another thing about motherhood that I'm dealing with is I do not give myself some like quite um like um quiet time because I pay so much attention to the kids that I forget about my own needs that like for example like I don't spend time on my by myself enough because I'm always tending to the kids tending to him and tending to the kids because Leanna is a toddler so she's more independent but at the same time she wants she like seeks our attention and seeks that quality time with us she loves loves quality time so i'm always paying attention to her i'm always paying attention to his needs he's not as hard as she is but i've been actually and I've noticed that when I try to give myself some, you know, give myself quality time to myself during the day while they're awake, I get the, I feel guilty for doing that because he's like looking at me with his big eyes, <laughs> innocent big eyes, and then she's like playing with Marcel the cat or she just looks bored. I know when she looks when she's bored because she's like she just looks at you or looks at stuff. And um so what I've been doing is I've actually been doing like quality time on my own at nighttime while they're both asleep or they're both taking a nap. And it's been working out like I've been I went back to painting and I have not painted in like so long. So I'm getting back to my arts because I am like I used to do art all the time. Like it was my thing. And when I became a mother, I kind of like swift drew away from it because I'm paying attention to them. So now I'm getting back to it and it feels really good. It feels really nice. But yeah, that's my wrap for today. You guys, I mamas, I hope you guys are doing okay. 
Um, please don't beat yourself up emotionally. We all go through the hard hurls. And we are sticking together. Yes, we are. We will get through this. Um, just take a day at a time. It takes a day at a time. And, you know, like our kids, they need us and we need them. And we do love them. So, don't beat yourself up. And I will see you guys soon. I hope you guys have a beautiful, blessed day. And see you, you soon. What do you want? What do you want? I'm going to feed you. Okay. Bye-bye. I got to feed her and him. What do you want? Bye-bye. Thank you guys again. See you soon. What do you want?